When the kids are in school and you have a busy schedule, it's time to make mini pot pies. It's a simple, delicious weeknight recipe. So for this recipe, you're gonna be using things you probably already have in the kitchen, like leftover rotisserie chicken, some celery, carrots, and onions, and best of all, some butter. Celery, carrots, and onions is also called mirepoix. It's just an even mixture of all three vegetables. If you have some extra herbs just lying around like we have time, just dump it in there, you can't go wrong. The best thing about recipes like this is that you can use everything in your pantry. We like to use cream and mushroom soup to thicken your pot pie mix. Use a little bit of chicken stock to make it nice and thin. This way it makes everything super creamy. When everything comes to a nice sizzle, just dump your frozen vegetables right in there to cool everything down. So this is the fun part, assembling the pot pies. Just get some puff pastry, cut them into small pieces, and put them in a greased muffin tin. And get stuffing. You don't want to fill these up too high, just put as much as you like, but not too much. Don't overthink this, just close them up, make sure there's no gaps. You can even pinch them like little dumplings on top. It's just that easy. When your pot pies are all wrapped up and ready to go, it's time to give them a nice little egg wash and put whatever spices you want on top. I love using everything in bagel spice. It just makes everything just so special. If you don't like or don't have everything bagel seasoning, you could just use flaky sea salt. These are gonna go in the oven for 25 minutes at 350. It's a nice, fast bake. These golden mini pot pies are great for a dinner party, dinner now, or they freeze really well for dinner later. If you enjoyed this recipe, like this video and follow us for more.